Bo Count with the red light going on, walks in. Racing now to the last of the day and on the Terps found itself back last after they got going. Zephyr Queen from the outside and jumping quickly as Recharger burning across together. Harry Thomas is going to try and track them over now with Bow Count kicking up and also the Fugazi pushing through on the inside of Rose Bush as they'd settled properly. Zephyr Queen had found the fence and so it will be Zephyr Queen that leads out to the thousand from Recharger, the Fugazi in the box seat. Harry Thomas goes up running fourth around them. Then came little Rose Bush in the middle, followed by Bo Count. Might be parked a shade wide going into the corner off the back of the 800. Abbey Lane, the grey, is next over on the rails and then Distant Trilogy. Followed further back on the Terps and then came second from last, Jester Rock and towards the tail end of the field is Blackwood River. Zephyr Queen took a little breather. At the 600 mark, Zephyr Queen led Recharger. Harry Thomas, three off the fence. The Fagazi is getting a gun run into the home corner. He's up running fourth right behind Zephyr Queen at the top of the straight and travel well for McGruddy. Rosebush is next in the middle, followed by Bow Count to the outside. Distant Trilogy in front of On the Terps. Well, the Fugazi now comes away from the rails as the gap opens, and McGruddy shoots him to the lead at the 200. The Fugazi from Zephyr Queen. They've kicked away three lengths now in front of Recharger. On the Terps down the outside, but the fave is home and hosed in the last as McGruddy rides him to the line. Goes on to win it easily, the Fugazi. By about two lengths on the Terps and Zephyr Queen. Then Distant Trilogy followed by Bow Count Rosebush, followed home then by Recharger, Blackwood River, Abbey Lane, Harry Thomas, and the last of them to greet the judge, Jester Rock. Never in doubt, the Fagazi, Sean McGruddy, beats on the Terps, Zephyr Queen, and uh, it's a tight go there for fourth distant trilogy, probably gets the nod in front of Rosebush, but he's turned that into a one-act affair. McGruddy... Had him coiled up there like a cobra. Third the fence, behind the leader, off the fence, around her heels in the twinkling of an eye. And uh, that was all she wrote as the Fugazi booted away and uh, set up that race-winning lead. He ran the dollar ninety favourite and he won like one should. The Fugazi for trainer Chris Ganjemi, Shooter McGruddy there in the saddle by Sebring from Drive On for Gan Jemmy and Merck on racing as well as uh, Dick Way, D Coin and J Coin. Three wins now from just eight starts to date for the Fagazi, and that was emphatic. 13 on the Terps, a good run coming from off the pace. Dick Turpin, Secret Empire Gilding, David Harrison, Jason Whiting, and Zephyr Queen, which led them for a long way. A universal ruler filly from Dobozhnikov, Jim Taylor and Steve Parnham. So two and three quarters, the winning margin. It was a romp in the last for the fave, a half a length, second and third, 126-1-2, and at the sectional, 36.73. So let's go down to the yard, and we'll catch up with Mark Warwood to bring us home, along also with Pete Antonis after the very comfortable win of this odds-on favourite in the last mark. Thanks, Darren. We're just waiting for Chris Kanjimi to get into the yard here, but that was a mighty impressive performance by the Fagazi, a horse they're very, very keen on. And here is Chris now. Congratulations, Chris. That was an easy watch, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, great ride from Shudo. He obviously had the gate, but um, yeah, he was obviously going to land in a nice spot. We just told Shudo to have him wherever he's happy, but uh, just needed a bit of luck getting out. But um, no, he had the horse underneath him and he rode him a treat. So. Now, this horse went round in the Guineas last year, albeit from a horrible gate. What plans have you got for him with the Ascot Carnival coming up? Um, oh, nothing in particular, mate. Just hopefully uh, he can string four or five runs together and go through the classes. As uh, he's still, he's, he's probably not even. He's probably 12 months away from being uh, anywhere near his top sort of thing. He's, he's all legs. He's uh, still quite narrow sort of thing. So he's a long way off his top. But um, no, he's uh, if he stays sound, he's uh, should, should end up a very nice horse. It's always a great sign in uh, in WA to see these uh, Ganjimi horses come back with heaps of owners. Your your brother, I think, may have named this horse. Is that correct? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he named it uh, after. A, line in a movie sort of thing and um, you know he's uh, he, he owns the mayor and he's uh, there's a couple more coming so hopefully that goes as good as him <laughs> congratulations on the win thanks mate cheers chris gun jimmy there the trainer the winning trainer of this uh for Gatsy, who's now won three of his eight starts and sean mcgrady gets on really really well with this gallop every time he's won shoot has been in the saddle yeah and back-to-back -back wins to start this preparation for the horse so obviously it's gone to another level it's good just hearing the comments there from chris gun jimmy suggesting the horse is probably going to furnish again and improve over the next 12 months and I guess that's probably what the, the racing of late has indicated. I thought he was a fantastic run in the WA Guineas last year. He was beaten eight lengths by Arcadia Queen, but he had absolutely no hope from the car park. He was a very good run. 
Yes, and we'll just grab a quick word from Shooter McGruddy just weighing in now. Shooter, back-to-back -back wins for the horse so far this preparation. Return well. Yeah, look, that was a lot better win than the other day. Uh, obviously, he drew a good last start as well, and Vox Seed didn't got the split, but um, today won like a serious horse, so it's all good. We saw the horse last preparation lose a couple of times as a short favourite. Does he feel to you like he's made a good improvement since that break? Look, he, I, I made the comment the other day that I reckon he can still fill out a little bit more yet, but he felt really good under saddle today. I think that run really brought him on, so hopefully he just keeps improving. And in terms of the distance, to my eye, it looked like he would appreciate a little bit further going. Your opinion? Yeah, look, he'll get 2,000, um, but obviously they've got to be fully mature before they can get that trip, but he'll get that eventually. Sounds good. Congrats, Shooter. Thank you. Congratulations there to Sean McGrady, the winning rider aboard the Fugazi. That wraps up. Our program.